Joe, you're also head of investment strategy, and I'm curious as to whether that's been changing or how you're nuancing that approach at the moment. Well, clearly, we're still seeing the strong participation of the financial markets by investors. We haven't seen as much as reaction, just given some of the headlines around the world, as one would expect. You know, we've had a somewhat guarded, although not negative, investment outlook for two years. If anything, the U.S. equity market has been stronger than we would have anticipated. I think valuations at the end of the day still have significant merit for investors trying to orient our portfolio over the next several years. Uh, we still believe that uh, market it's outside the United States uh, may have slightly higher expected returns over the next several years. So again, I think we are seeing and, and urging investors to have modestly lower return expectations, but to not withdraw from the markets because we do not see, at least in the near term, a significant risk of a recession. Do you see a bear market in bonds? Uh, no, because I think a bear market in bonds, at least if we're talking U.S. Treasuries, we would need to see a significant sell-off at the long end. I mean, there's clearly there, there's always a risk of that, but uh, we still have fairly high conviction that the fair value for, say, the 10-year Treasury as an indicator is roughly 3 percent. It can go, it can bounce around that um, 25 to 50 basis points even, um, but we have not changed our long-term outlook based upon our diagnosis of, of the Federal Reserve and R-Star of inflation and some of the other secular forces at bay. Um, so at least for the next year or two, we're hard pressed to see interest rates moving materially above 3%. And then Joe, give us your outlook for U.S. equities. Uh, U.S. equities, um, you know, there's still elevated risk of a correction. Now, this is not being a bear sentiment. It's more of just where valuations are at this stage of the cycle. But policy from the Fed uh, is not restrictive yet, and the underlying momentum is decent. So when you put all those factors together, it, it suggests modestly below expected, uh, below average historical returns. It's not great, uh, but it's not a bearish sort of outlook. And I, I, that's the ultimate point that I would want to underscore to investors.